Hello! Plague Von Karma here, with a new episode of Army White Bites. It's common knowledge by this point that Mystigno was once 39 different Pokémon, all of which were scrubbed from the game prior to Red and Green's release. Thanks to interviews, leaks, and an autobiographical manga, and the work of various prototype Pokémon communities, we know what a significant majority of these Pokémon once were. The most infamous of these prototype Pokémon is, indisputably, Gorachu. The first murmurs of a final Raichu evolution actually date back to the localization of Pokemon Red and Blue. In Pokemon Red and Blue, when you train your Raichu for an Electrode in Cinnabar Lab, the old man will tell you that the Raichu you trained to him evolved. This led to an insane amount of speculation and was a big part of what led to the Pokemon phenomenon of the late 90s and early 2000s. However, this was purely accidental. The reason this occurred is that Red and Blue used the encounter data of Red and Green, but Japanese Blue's engine and script, the latter of which contained a trade between a Kadabra and Graveler, which was designed to demonstrate trade evolution to the player. The caveat? Well, despite being an accident, there was an element of truth to the rumour. This was a real Pokemon, just not in the way people thought it was. It just wasn't in the final game. In fact, we even know the scrapped Pokemon's name, Gorachu. Gorashu was first revealed in a Yomi Uri interview in early 2018, where Game Freak employees Ken Sugimori, Koji Nishino, and Atsuko Nishida discussed the creation of Pikachu. This interview was officially released on Pokemon's website in English, but Lost Pokemon researcher Dr. Lava has also done a bit of work on the topic. These sources, as well as an entire leak that showed the moves it learned and the back sprite, form the bulk of what I'm about to talk about. Gorochu's name is a combination of the Japanese sounds for thunder and a mouse's squeak. Likewise, Rai in Raichu's name is the Japanese name for thunder, and Pika is the expression for lightning. The only de design specification for the Pikachu family was for it to be a three-stage evolutionary line with a strong-looking final form. Atsuko Nishida helmed the development of this line, with Gorochu intended to have horns and fangs, described as looking like a god of thunder. Raijin could be a potential inspiration, a reference that would later be used for the creation of Thunderous' incarnate form in Pokemon Black and White. Unfortunately, no official materials provided that showed what a Gorachu actually looked like. However, a leak containing some of the assets for the prototype Red and Green exist, which have revealed Gorachu's back sprite at the very least. Now, you'll see this sprite is grayscaled. This is how it came, but it's possible to restore its colour using Raichu's palette. Here's what comes out of that, which makes it easier to see what's up. A fan recreation of the front sprite exists, made by Racy Beep, which has a lot of design speculation that I personally agree with. The yellow diamonds being a tail with a much more elaborate thunderbolt makes perfect sense, really. I like the idea of the horn and ears. I think this is the closest we'll ever get to the real design, and I'm happy believing this is what it could have been. Now, you've heard me mention knowing what moves Gorachu got. Helix Chamber published an analysis of some of the leaked red and green assets, summarising the learned sets of the Pokémon. Indeed, Gorachu was among the prototype Pokémon to have an entry. At the time, Pokémon were forced to evolve, not having cancelled evolutions. So here, we can see that Gorachu got Horn Drill, Focus Energy, Sand Attack, and Hyper Beam via level up, though a portion of these are from the former, more primitive Raichu and Pikachu movesets. Gorachu was cut primarily due to cartridge space. Game Boy cartridges are extremely small, with 2 megabytes being the upper limit. Even after the removal of the debugging tools, Red and Green only had 300 bytes of space remaining, and this remaining space couldn't fit any more than Mew. Gorachu was among many Pokémon removed for the purpose of streamlining evolution of families, far from the only one in fact. Sugimori and Nishino also cited game balance and design evolving over time, with Pikachu ending up as the kind of Pokémon to only really need one evolution. Game balance is definitely a big point against Gorachu, with Raichu stats already being okay, though it's possible that these were altered after Gorachu was removed. Gorachu has since appeared in a few mods of Generation 1, most notably the Pokéthon recreation of the prototype Red and Green, which was leaked online following its unceremonious backlash due to poor presentation when revealing the leaked assets. It's actually a very solid game in its own right though, I really want you to all try it. Additionally, I have actually made a mod of Pokémon Showdown, expanding Generation 1, that includes a restored Gorachu. I'll leave links to where you can find this content in the description. 
While you're at it, why not join the Oboi Discord and share your thoughts on Gorichu and these things for yourself? Do you think the franchise would have been better if Gorichu stayed? I'll let you all decide. This was Pokemon Karma, and I'll see you all next time.